We're going to show you some SIP-based phones. This is the Astra, now known as the Mitel 6867i phone. And this is the expansion module with 14 buttons per side. So that's 28 on this screen, plus 28 on that screen, and 28 on that screen. There's quite a bit of buttons we can have here which could show you uh, what different people are doing in the office, or maybe some features or some speed dials, whatever you might want to do. The main part of the phone is just on the left side here, and this is connected by plugging in the expansion unit and uh, setting a couple of screws. So that makes it uh, uh, expand into different buttons. Uh, we're going to simulate an inbound and an outbound call just to show you how the phone works. We can pretty much program the asterisk system to just dial out uh, with area code. We'll do an area code call to a cell phone. And dial. My cell phone lights up. Hello. Hello. This is Jim. This is Jim. And there we go. And there we go. I can pick up the phone or it just goes right through. You can see that I've called myself. And it hangs up, of course. If we want to uh, speed dial somebody, we can also press the speed dial button, which is there. That gives us some additional buttons. Or here are some additional buttons. But most of your program you're going to be doing right here for additional speed dial buttons. Now when a call comes in, we have our choice of some interesting ringers, or we can actually put in our own WAV files, which is a little more complicated, but if your IT department is willing to do that, uh, we can put in some uh, WAV files from our favorite songs or whatever. So let me call into the system. I'll turn down the volume on this other phone that we're using here. You can see I have some sort of a techno song loaded into there. Press answer. Hello, how are you doing? Okay, take care, bye. Now I could also put the call on park. Typically the way we transfer calls, we transfer over to 700 and press dial. We wait a moment until the red park light goes on. We can hang up. Then we're able to pick up the call at any phone. So we have an additional phone set up over here. And if you notice, the red park light is on. So I can pick up the call once again by picking up and pressing park. And now I'm connected to the cell phone or whoever might have called in. So back to our main phone we're talking about, the 6867i. We have some additional buttons here that can do quite a bit. Um, this is the hold button for when somebody calls in. We can place it on our personal hold. Park is used when we want to put it on a system-wide hold. If we wish to look at our call history, we can press the call history button, and it'll show you various calls that have come in, including the name and the number. Want more information, we press the right arrow, and you can see what the phone number was. And we have the option, of course, of calling back or not. The way we would call back is just press the middle button. For outbound calls, we have the two up arrows. You can show you what outbound calls we might have made, whether internally or externally, along with their date and time. And we can dial them again, if we wish. That always hangs us up. We have the choice of two lines here. What that means is you have call appearances. Uh, it's not specifically tied to a phone line, but that's how many calls you could juggle at any given time. We've also programmed a couple of the buttons here for line three and four, which means we can juggle up to four phone calls, four people on hold. No matter how many lines you have coming into the building, we can go back and forth between four different calls that we might be talking to. To show you how a speed dial works, all you have to do is simply press it. Here we have an MCI number that we can call to get our current phone number that we're dialing from. We use this for testing. for calling MCI. Our system indicates you are calling from 41443. And that's correct. So you can see there's plenty of other numbers we have here. For example, the Atom test phone is the phone we're using over here, which is our 6865 phone. So for example, I'll put them both in the display and I'll make a phone call on this particular phone. And the right button to dial. 
Now, if you notice, the red light is on because that phone is currently in use. And I called the main line. So now all these lights are flashing because they show us that all those phones are ringing in our business. Well, let's hang up for now. And also, all the lines will now extinguish. There's other features in our phone, such as mute, the volume of the speaker, or the sound coming in for the ringer. If we're on speaker, it will adjust the speaker volume and hang up. If we press the button twice, it starts flashing. And now if we had a handset connected, which we do, we'll be in handset mode and we can adjust the volume of that. Additionally, we have a conference key that we can conference in numerous people into the call. We can get into that in our training class. Or we have a setup key where we set the various status features of the phone system, audio modes, display, many other things. And of course, we can drill down into it and look at various information about the phone, IP addresses, versioning, that type of thing, and then cancel the break out of there. A very full-featured phone. It's very solid, very well made, metal and plastic construction, but very solid, and it feels good to the hand. So this is the one I personally use, and I highly recommend it, the Astra or Mitel 6867 iPhone. This is the 6865 phone and does the same thing as the other phone, except we will need to actually type up or print out in our computer a label to put under here. It would have eight soft buttons, just like the other one had six soft buttons, but of course the additional module gave us more. It has all the same features, both the outbound calls we've made over here, outbound calls, we can scroll through them, it stores up to 100, and then we have the calls that have come in, such as that. It has a very nice backlit display, it's very easy to read in any light. The volume controls, the setup features, pretty much everything we need to make this phone our own. And that's just a brief overview of the 6865. It also has the same handset and microphone as the other one we just saw, the 6867, with the color display. This is used more in common areas, kitchens, that kind of a thing, whereas the 6867 would be used more we had the expansion modules for the receptionist or maybe even some executives that would like some additional speed dials. That's it. We'll talk to you later.